when there's something strange in your neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Initiate Vigilante Mode. This is going to be the inaugural episode of the remake versus the original. Still prototyping how exactly it's going to look, whether to put both movies in one video or make two videos. We are going to talk today about Ghostbusters. Not the new one, the old one. The original 1984 Ivan Reitman Ghostbusters movie and actually written by Dan Aykroyd, um, which I wasn't aware of until I saw it again. It's been a while since I've seen the original Ghostbusters movie. I guess I felt like the movie was a little bit dated. Um, and in fact, I felt like it, in some ways, is actually due for a remake. From what I've heard, the film was sort of like meant to be a little bit more of a horror movie. Uh, Dan Aykroyd uh, actually wanted it to be a little bit scarier than it turned out to be. I'm hearing that Paul Feig, 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 has made this new one a little bit more horror, although it doesn't look like it at all from the trailers. Uh, we'll get to the trailers in a little while. Um, so there are certainly positives, but I'm actually going to kind of focus on some of the things that I didn't like about the movie. Um, first of all, I felt like the movie was sexist as hell. One of the most overtly sexist movies I've seen. Um, Sigourney Weaver is such an object in the movie. I'm surprised that Ellen Ripley really kind of thought that that would be good for her, but I suppose it was a career move at the time. She she was still kind of becoming Ellen Ripley. There, there's a lot of sexist moments in the movie. The movie was cute and it was fun, um, but it's very, very, very light on character development. I just felt like everybody was sort of paper thin. It was cool to see the New York of the past, seeing like locations and spots and places that I, I'm familiar with. It was cool to see. It was like a glimpse into the past. A lot of these jokes in the movie were just, they just fell flat for me. I think the dialogue was well written. But a lot of the humor just, I, you know, I didn't find myself like laughing out loud a whole bunch. Maybe that was just the style of the movies in the 80s or something. I think this movie deserves a lot of credit for being like the birth of a subgenre, this sort of like sci fi, horror, comedy blend. Wouldn't really have movies like Men in Black if it weren't for Ghostbusters. I think Reginald Bell Johnson, the most like typecast actor in all of entertainment history. I mean, he plays literally a cop in everything. Family Matters, Die Hard, and Ghostbusters. Good for him, though. I mean, like, he does it really well. Um, he had no role in the movie. Does anybody remember that really badass animated version of Ghostbusters? There was a other one that was like an adaptation of the movie, but um, I remember this one that was like a Saturday morning cartoon and it was really, really, really cool. Um, it was like modern and like their technology was modern and I remember there was a female Ghostbuster. So I just thought that was cool. I don't know, I guess that just popped in my head. There was some continuity goofs in the movie, like climbing these, this staircase. It like took them, I don't know, it was just whatever. This movie was truly camp in its truest form. Um, not to say that it's not enjoyable, it's an enjoyable movie, but the ghosts in it were just used very lightly, sparingly. I I suppose it was a special effects and budgetary issue, but there was no real threat from the ghosts themselves. I think those special effects kind of held this movie back, and I haven't seen the sequel in a long time. I hear that it's like not as good as the first one. Overall, I'm gonna give this movie a B plus. So, I mean, it sounds like I'm like bashing it. I'm really not bashing it. I'm just kind of being nitpicky. It's still a very enjoyable, fun, campy movie, and um, it was nice to see it again. Now, on to some of my predictions of the Ghostbusters movie that's coming out. All the trailers for this movie have been very, very lackluster, and um, I can see why the movie is getting a little bit of negative buzz. I just think that the, the, the tone of it just seems a little odd, like a prolonged SNL skit or something like that. And a lot of people seem to be attributing the negative buzz on the movie uh, because it's a female-led movie. Um, I don't think it's necessarily because of that. I think it's because the marketing for the movie has not been particularly good. The last trailer I saw, I guess it would be the third trailer, I thought was all right. Um, it was probably the one I found most enjoyable and having seen them a couple of times now, okay, you know, I'm, I'm definitely like looking forward to seeing this movie. I hope it proves everybody wrong and I hope it's a good film. I have no problem with it being a female cast. My only problem with 
the movie itself is the fact that I'm really unclear as to whether it's a remake, a reboot, or a sequel, or whether it's all of those things, and why aren't the original Ghostbusters a part of this? Although I've heard that uh, Bill Murray has like a cameo in this movie, but is he playing Vinkman? I, I guess we'll find out soon. I'm hoping that it proves like the public wrong and that it's a good film, and I'm glad that we're having more female-led um, you know, motion pictures, uh, I think it's really, really the time to do that. So those are my thoughts on Ghostbusters. What did you think of the original movie? And what do you think of this remake, reboot, reboot, quill, whatever you want to call it coming out? Let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to know what you think. Um, that's our first episode of Remake versus the Original. And I'll get back to you on the part two of this with uh, my review of the Ghostbusters 2016 version. Please like, share, and subscribe to Vigilante Mode Reviews. Until next time, guys. Vigilante Mode, deactivate.